Alrighty, now let's have a look at the new MacBook Pro. We're talking about the four Thunderbolt 3 version, the ones with the Ice Lake CPUs, the brand new Ice Lake CPUs. It's gonna do a lot of interesting tests on it actually. It's gonna be very interesting to see how the new graphics performs in Mac OS and with metal and stuff like that. Can you actually use a 13 inch laptop to edit 4K content? And we're also going to find out what sort of gaming performance we get out of it as well. I'll be very interested, can it actually replace your 15 or 16 inch MacBook? Now here is the old one. So you can see the box is smaller. Now this is the 15 watt version or the 2 Thunderbolt 3 version. So I don't know if the other 28 watt version or the other 4 Thunderbolt 3 version did have a bigger box because I've never used it. And the reason I never had that is because there was no point because the graphics weren't better. You weren't getting any benefit to going to the 28 watts. It was slightly faster, but, and yes, it did have two fans versus one and two Thunderbolt 3s extra, actually. There's a few things, isn't there? No, but really, the 15 watt parts, they crank up so fast, and given that the graphics is more or less the same, I didn't see the value in getting this. Now, this is for the old girlfriend here, and uh, yeah, I got, her, I got her a yoga. And she said, I'll be embarrassed to use that thing. So, yep, I have to suffer the pain of buying one of these then. So let's have a look. Bigger box, let's have a look inside. It's actually gonna be interesting to see how much bigger it is or smaller it is than the Zephyrus 14 here over here. Zephyrus 14, 14 inch RTX 2060. It's a, you know, it's a beast. And let's have a look at the size there. Zephyrus is a bit bigger, but yeah, not that much bigger. It is thicker too. It's the same thing every time. Like, I don't even know why we do these unboxings. Oh, but we do get the Grey Pro stickers. So, yeah, that's the only good thing, I guess. So, yeah, it's a standard old stuff to get in there, whatever. All right, let's test the mega power of the MacBook Pro 13 with the latest Ice Lake CPUs. Now, usually they use a 28 watt in their top of the line model. This is the i5 16 gigs RAM and it is a 1038 NG7. Now let's see how many watts it can sustain. Let's hit that and we'll have a look at the temperatures and I can't wait to get it playing GTA 5. I'm going to hook it up in Windows, see if I can get GTA 5 to play and what I can see here straight away is it boosted up to whoa, nearly 40 watts. Yeah, nearly about 37 watts or something like that. Temperature now is hitting 90 degrees. We are using 35 watts and we have a frequency of 3.3 at the moment. Now we're using 35 watts. Temperature is <laughs> 97. I love Dell, I love Apple. Run it to the thermal limit. That's the way we go. I don't want none of this pussy stuff. Oh, 90 degrees, 80 degrees, let's go for gold. Obviously, it would be better if it could run at 70 degrees full pelt. But anyway, 34 watts now and 3.3. We're pushing 99 degrees. Fans haven't come on. Just started to come on now. <laughs> Good old Apple day. I love, that's what I love. They're quiet. All right, once you hit them hard, you know, they ramp up a bit. But, um, you know, they keep the fans off for as long as possible. Now we're pushing 34 watts and a frequency of... 3.2, still pushing 3.2, it's hit 100 degrees, now expect that wattage to back off, but it's still pushing 35 watts, wolf, now it's a 28 watt part, yeah, it's still pushing 35 watts at the moment, 3.3 gigahertz, 99 degrees, oh yeah, baby, this is power, this is, wow, I was expecting that to drop down to about 28 watts. This is doing 36 watts, 35 watts. What? This is unheard of. 3.3, 97 degrees, 35 watts, still 35 watts. I think I've got a good one. I've definitely got a good one because I've seen other people run it and they're getting 25, 28 watts. I'm still pushing at 95 degrees, 35 watts. I'm still pushing into this. We're going at 3.3, no, yes, 3.3. Wow, still at the end of the run, 35 watts. Doesn't want to back down, baby. 
This is the way I love it. Wow, I think I've got a good one. Definitely think I've got a good one. They're not all gonna be like this. There's no way known. They're all pushing 35. What the hell? 2,000 nearly. That is some good score there. Wow, this thing flies. All right, so let's do a little test um, in the timeline here. And this is my 4K project, and this has the color correction applied, and it's at full. And the scrubbing, yeah, it's nowhere near the 16 inch. I can tell you that straight away. Seems similar to the PC, maybe. It scrubs probably at about the same as this one over here, the G14. Now, can it play it back at full with the color correction 4K content? Now you can see it's dropped frames. Okay, let's get rid of that color correction. So we'll get rid of that and we'll see if it can play back 4K content at full. And there you have it. Green bar, 4K content at full. It can play back, no problem. Now, it wasn't that long ago, 15 inches would struggle this. The actual 216, 217 MacBook Pro 15 could not play this back at full. Now, of course, if you want the color correction, you're gonna need a 15 inch with a GPU. It is very interesting that it can still play back 4K, no problem. Now, typically when you edit, you do the color grading last. So you could edit 4K content, I have no doubt. Now I wanna see how fast this exports. Let's have a look. Now at the moment, this is in metal. I'll change it later to OpenCL because sometimes there is a difference. But let's just export this and see how fast it is. All right, so that actually took eight minutes. So just to compare, say for example, the razor blade stealth took around, you know, five minutes. That's with a GPU that has a GPU as well. And most sort of 15 inch laptops will do this sort of test in around four minutes, four and a half, maybe up to five minutes. That's hardware encoding. But software encoding, they'll take about six, seven, eight minutes, depending on what machine, of course. So this, Hardware encoding, it's competitive with the 15 inches in terms of how fast they can encode software encoding. Of course, yes, they get the three, four minutes hardware encoding, but certainly competitive now, right? It used to take forever, like 25 minutes or something like that on Ultrabooks before, especially in the MacBook Pro, it used to take over 25 minutes. Actually, when it was the dual core, it used to take 50 minutes. Then it went down to about 28 minutes, and now we're getting down to eight minutes. So wow, some good improvements there. Stay tuned, make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna put an eGPU on this and I'm gonna compare it to a lot of laptops. So let me know down there in the comments what test you want done on it. But so far, it's pretty impressive. Now I have recreated this project in Final Cut. Be interesting to see how it goes in Final Cut. And again, once I put an eGPU on this, yeah, I really want to see how fast this thing is. Can it actually beat the 15-inch gaming laptops with an eGPU?